Are you ready for the holidays? I like to get ready by buying a lot of things and a lot of foods and ingredients that I don't want to run out of, that may go up in price and that I can get a good deal for. And just in general, I like to prepare myself so that that part of the holidays I don't have to think about. So here at our Goebbels home, there's a lot of baking going on and I wanted to show you some products that we use a lot that I find really good value. All the products will be linked in the description box below this video. Some of them are actually affiliates and others are not. And I like to just show you products that we personally use and love and not just because there's a good affiliate commission. So again, there are some products that I don't get anything from if I recommend them to you. Let's start with flowers. If you bake a lot, I think that you might be aware of the King Arthur Baking Company. Their flowers are really great quality and you can get them on Amazon or you can get them directly from their website. However, if you need bigger quantities, because this is a fairly small actually, there is another company that I really like and that is called Centro Milling. They have a lot of ancient grains as well. They have a lot of outlets throughout the country. They do ship, but then shipping can get expensive, but they have bigger bags on flowers and we can get a regular just all-purpose flower at our local Costco and we actually have a store that's close enough that I can go there and stock up on this is for example spelt flour but they also have grains and so forth. So Central Milling is another really good company plus like I said this is a I think a three pound five pound five pound bag so that will last you quite a while. If you are somebody who has gluten sensitivity or if you already know einkorn, einkorn is a great grain to bake with because a lot of people that have gluten sensitivities do really well with einkorn and einkorn is a little bit different to use but we love it and we use it a lot. And here's another one by the King Arthur Baking Company, a rye flour that I am actually making a rye bread with and the recipe will also be in the description box below this video. Now in terms of ingredients, we love spices so it's always a really good idea to go through the kind of recipes you will be baking and cooking and note beforehand while you still have time and while it's still not crazy and note down what kind of ingredients you might be looking for. We use a lot of cinnamon and Anthony's has a really good deal on high quality ingredients. This is an organic and it's also a cinnamon from Ceylon. This is the kind of cinnamon you want because there's another cassia that's cheaper, but it's a lower quality. So I'm always looking for this one and it comes in a pretty big bag. So if you want to stock up on it because it doesn't necessarily go bad, that's a really good one to use. Likewise, if you're baking a lot of brownies or uh, drinking a lot of hot chocolate, getting a nice quality organic cocoa, cocoa, sometimes it's cacao <laughs> powder is also a really good idea to stock up on. Speaking of hot chocolate, we also like getting some whole milk powder because we do get our milk. We drink raw milk and it's organic. It's from a local dairy, but every so often we have guests coming over and in the evening somebody wants a cup of hot chocolate and we don't have enough milk. So this is a really good alternative. Also, if you're baking and you run out of milk, you don't have to run to the store. You can just use the milk powder and then you can bake your recipe. You also know that we use a lot of sourdough recipes. However, there are times, and I do have recipes that are sourdough based, but include a little bit of yeast. So it's a good idea to stock up on yeast. This comes in little individual packages and sometimes I actually put them in the refrigerator or in the freezer and they will last longer that way because you do get quite a bit of yeast here in this big bag. But again, it's a really good quality and you get a lot of value from getting bigger amounts. And I know that rising food prices are a concern for many of you. Baking soda, you always want to have on hand. I still have this baking powder. This is a Trader Joe's brand. I'm not sure that I will buy this again. It is 
pretty inexpensive because it is a generic brand, but there has been some concern about aluminum in baking powder. So I think next time I'm ready to buy, I will probably look at something else. Now in terms of sweetening, if you know my recipes, you know that we like using maple syrup instead of regular sugar. And this one is from our Costco, but it's a good quality, organic, and how can you beat a big bottle like this? You can pour it over your waffles, your pancakes, or use it in your recipes. If you don't want to use maple syrup or some recipes just don't do well with syrup, this one from also the organic Kirkland brand from Costco is a really good value. This usually lasts us a long time and sugar doesn't go bad. So that's another good thing to stock up on. Now, even though we bake a lot of sweet recipes, we do use a lot of salt. And here is my newest favorite salt. And that is the real salt. It is mined in the United States. And so it's local. It doesn't come from all over the world and hasn't been shipped and it's really good quality and you get bigger bags than this, but this for us will probably last us quite a while. So that's one that I highly recommend. For savory recipes, a lot of recipes, let's say soups or um, we actually use, and I'm gonna tell you in a moment here. So anyway, so if you don't wanna stock up on soups or if, for example, we often make our own bone broth and you run out, this is another really good alternative and it comes in a smaller jar that you can get in many stores. However, this is another Costco item that I love because it's so big and it's it comes in a beef flavor and in a chicken flavor. And I find the chicken a little bit more versatile, but they didn't have it last time, so we got the beef. And it's a concentrate and you can flavor a lot of recipes. Sometimes I might even sneak some of the more of the chicken variety into my mashed potatoes, just to give it a little bit of a deeper, <laughs> I can smell it, a little bit more of a deeper, uh, more complex flavor, just instead of adding some salt to it. Likewise, you can also get some bouillon cubes. These will last in your pantry forever, and you always have something on hand, so you can make a quick soup really on the fly with pantry items. I don't know about you, but we're not afraid of fat. <laughs> we actually use and we like using good fats. And one of them is avocado oil. I like that because it has a very high smoke point, so I can use it for frying and it's a very neutral oil. You can also use it for baking. And this one is from Costco, comes in a big bottle. So another really good value. And this is another Kirkland item at Costco. Their olive oil, when you look at tests, comes in with really good test results and it hasn't been altered. So it's definitely one of the brands to buy because they do sometimes mix other ingredients into their olive oils. And this is better for low heat frying or for your salads. And that's why we always have the two. Usually I have them in smaller bottles here on the counter, but these are in our deeper pantry outside of our house. And by the way, I have a whole printable list of all the things you might wanna stock up on that you can download and print, and then you can have it on your counter, on your pantry door, or wherever you need a list to be organized. And the last items I want to share that are not necessarily food items, but still items you might need in your holiday cooking and baking is items like parchment paper. Um, I often use it to line my, let's say, cast iron Dutch oven if I bake bread and it makes cleanup really easy. If I bake some other cakes, I can line my cake pan or my casserole or whatever with parchment paper. And like I said, it doesn't stick and I don't have to use nonstick, which I don't like. And even though we mostly use beeswax wraps here at our gabled home because they're reusable. There are times when you need saran wrap or plastic food wrap. So this is a Costco item and this is a Costco item and this will last you so long. Since we don't use a whole lot, this is probably years old, but that's still a really good thing to stock up on. And then I don't have that handy, but some aluminum foil, if you want to reheat, let's say your stuffing, you make it ahead of time and you want to reheat it on Thanksgiving day, you can put some aluminum foil on top of it so it doesn't dry out on top and you can reheat it and then you re remove it. So there's a reason 
why you might want to have foil and stuck up on it. Again, go ahead and grab your printable list in the description box below this video. I hope that this was helpful. Leave me a comment. I see all the comments. I read them and if I don't just answer them, I usually just give you a little heart that I like the comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.